when you really begin delving into Iowa's past, and it doesn't really matter where you enter, we're a much more uh, complex and diverse state than we than the image than the stereotype of Iowa. I think there's some really exciting things going on. I think that there's a, a lot more emphasis in trying to look at individuals, the experience of soldiers, women, um, uh, black Americans, black Iowans, and their participation in the war uh, and after the war, uh, which I think is really important to helping us to have a fuller uh, picture and understanding of the, the Civil War era and their contributions to that. And so the, the history that's being done today in Iowa is writing those individuals back into the history, into the places that they should have been, uh, and, uh, and looking at the important contributions that they have made to Iowa and to uh, transforming Iowa into the state that it is today. Well, modesty, I think, is an important theme within Iowa. And, and cooperation, collaboration. Uh, so many people are raised in small towns or on farms. They know they've got to work together. And so we see that after storms and adversities like a derecho or a flood, we are capable of working together and being generous with others. Who's there matters a great deal. And you often have opportunities to engage and participate in ways that maybe in other places you wouldn't because you, you're like, it's all hands on deck, right? Like we need you. And I, so I think that also produces really fantastic and interesting interactions, unexpected result. Diversity comes in many forms. Diversity isn't just race. Um, diversity isn't just ethnicity, it's also um, a diversity of economic circumstances, it's a diversity of, uh, of ways of living, it's a diversity of ways of earning a living. Um, people tend to look at Iowa and think that's just an undifferentiated mass of sort of middling white people. Uh, when the truth is that if you start digging deeper, you'll discover that, that we actually have all sorts of very interesting diversity in this state. People are taking this history into their own hands. And so there are some really great, you know, locally and at times self-published works about people's families, about people's experiences. And so whereas oftentimes history, particularly the history of people of color, tend to be gloom and doom, these articles and these stories are telling a very complex and rich account of people's joys, people's celebrations, and people's lives beyond kind of the dominant narrative of repression and oppression that we see. The really big, the big takeaway that I would want people to think about Iowa is that the history is not flat. It is complicated and it's constantly being moved and shifted and manipulated. And I think that's so important. You know, history is not something that we just write down every single fact and be done with it. Why history matters is, is because it is an interpretive art. It has meaning and impact on the present.